Personalized learning is, is students being able to take responsibility and accountability for not only their education, but for their future as well. Because of personalized learning and some of the attention that we're getting for what we're doing here, um, kids are now being given an opportunity to do things that they wouldn't have otherwise had. Our students are, by and large, happier. They're just happier because they have more control over their time, who they spend their time with, um, and isn't that the goal of every teenager? <laughs> say probably the most exciting part and most positive part of personalized learning is the opportunity for students to just work at their own pace, to be able to work at their own skill level, and to be able to take risks that they normally wouldn't take, to ask questions maybe one-on-one -on -one individually, say with, with their uh, mentor teacher. You're able to work on whatever you want, whatever, and if you need help with something, you can just go straight to the teacher. I've been able to work on assignments for as long as I need and stay in that class for as long as I want to. And if I don't want to work on math one day, I don't have to, and I can just work on, say, language arts or science. Sometimes kids don't understand a unit and the teacher has to spend extra time. This way you can go ahead and if you need help on a question, you can just ask the specific teacher. Beforehand, I spent a lot of my time sort of giving everyone the big picture in front and then sort of targeting groups or individual people. And it was never really efficient because you still have to get the entire class together. So there's a lot more of that in the old model. Now people come to me when they have problems or the groups come to me when they have projects and they have, they're stuck on certain things. So I'm able to work more one-on-one -on -one with students that have difficulty. I, I think Mastery Base is gonna play more into college level education than the traditional level because in the traditional level you still get kids going to college that were cheated out of not being able to learn everything and then they get thrown into college and are they wasting their money and their time? I think this helps all of our kids be more successful in the end. Once students get to the point where they're receiving college credits and they are going off to school with like a, an associate's degree let's say, I think then the communities around us are going to start looking and saying, okay, something very positive has happened over this. And if they can do it with, you know, all of the adversities, I guess, if you will, um, any school can do it. In college, they tell you, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of the assignments on your own. So with the personalized learning, it really helps you know how to work at your own pace and get all of that stuff done and especially with like the technology part of it because I know like for my siblings they did a lot of their assignments on like laptops and stuff so knowing how to work with that and knowing how to turn in assignments like that it really helps you for the future. They're able to start that process of college here when it would be free so that then college is, more, is less expensive for them and there's more opportunity for them. Before uh, I would struggle with, with my boys' uh, homework times. Before it was just a nightmare to just sit down and get them to do one thing, get him to do one thing, make sure they understand it and they can tell me what they, what they read and I ask them questions. Now they can sit on their iPad and I can see the big difference. You know, they each get into a comf comfortable spot where they're reading and, and taking their quizzes and they understand what they're doing and it's fun for them. I've seen her doing math homework on a Saturday just because, or even on a Sunday, whatever, take it in the car with us and asking me questions as I'm driving down the road. Wilder has been on an amazing journey over the last four years and, and over the last few years, frankly. It's exciting to be part of where Wilder's going because, you know, in the past, Wilder hasn't been looked at by even the rest of the state or even our surrounding communities as as an educational leader, and that's where we're at now. We have schools coming to us from around the state that are excited to see what we're doing, and, and we're excited to show it to them. And so it's, it's really a cool deal to be in Wilder and, and be on the forefront of what's going on in education in the state of Idaho.
I think personalized learning has actually given our kids the platform that they need to showcase their individual greatness.